Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today we're going to first look at Arsenal midfielder open to departure after Mikel Arteta and the do make key transfer decision and then we're going to look at Manchester United, Liverpool and Arsenal could revisit Yves Bissouma transfer interest in January. So the first transfer headline states that Arsenal midfielder opens a departure after Mikel Arteta and Edu make key transfer decision. So the reports are stating that the Egyptian midfielder has one year remaining on his contract and could still leave the club before September the 8th. Mohamed El Nenny is assessing his options after two foreign clubs made contact with Arsenal over a possible summer transfer is understood. Mohamed El Nenny made 41 appearances for the Gunners last season as one the Arsenal Goal of the Season award for his strike against Dundalk in the Europa League group stages. The 29-year-old was substituted after 33 minutes during Arsenal's behind-closed-doors friendly against Brentford on Thursday, although it is understood that the midfielder was taken off as a precaution. Connors boss Mikel Arteta is a fan of Elneny having played with the midfield with the midfielder during his time as a player at the Emirates Stadium, but could allow the Egyptian to leave after doing a U-turn on Ainsley maitland -Niles. Mikel Arteta and technical director Edu blocked maitland Niles from being loaned out to Everton on transfer deadline day and the England international has been assured that he is considered an important player for the club going forward. It's also expected that the 24-year-old will get game time in midfield this season which will put Elneny further down the pecking order with Thomas Parsi and Sambi Lokonga both ahead of him. It is understood that two Turkish clubs have expressed an interest in signing Elneny with rumours in Turkey linking him with a move to Besiktas and Galatasaray. Mohamed Elneny previously spent time on loan at Besiktas when Unai Emery was head coach. No decision has been made yet and it's understood that Mohamed Elneny will be allowed to leave if the right offer is received. He scored 5 goals for the Gunners during his time at the Emirates Stadium and put his improved goal scoring record form down to extra shooting training with Arsenal assistant coach Steve Round. So it looks like Arsenal midfielder Mohamed Elneny opened to departure after Mikel Arteta and they do make key transfer decision. And the Mohamed Elneny situation is a very interesting one by Mikel Arteta and Edu because I think this was a very bad transfer mistake because I think Arsenal should have sold him in the summer transfer window but also still have a lifeline to try and sell him now because the Turkish transfer window only closes on September the 8th. So if Arsenal can sign him before that, if Arsenal can sell him before that to a Turkish club with Besiktas, um, Galatasaray, um, Fenerbahce, those are the clubs in Turkey that look to try and bring Elneny but with Besiktas, I think signing Miralem Pjanic on a loan deal, I think it leaves only Galatasaray and Fenerbahce as the two remaining options for Arsenal to try and sell their player to. We see that Fenerbahce broke down talks with Arsenal for Siad Kolasinac, so maybe they might not be interested in another Arsenal player in the form of Mohamed Elneny, with Galatasaray looking like the only option where Elneny can make that move to that Turkish club because he is someone that is familiar of the Turkish league and Miklod Zeta and Edu should have sold him earlier in my opinion because we had players such as Gwenduzi not given opportunities now in the front squad ahead of Mohamed Elneny. So this nicely takes us on to the second piece of transfer news which states that Manchester United, Liverpool and Arsenal could revisit Yves Bissouma transfer interest in January. So the reports are stating that Manchester United, Liverpool and Arsenal all reportedly had Yves Bissouma on the summer transfer window shortlist. Manchester United, Liverpool and Arsenal could all revisit a transfer for Brighton's Eve Basuma in January, according to reports. The Premier League trio all wanted to sign a new midfielder in the summer transfer window, but chose to not bid for Eve Basuma. Brighton all believes have valued Basuma at around £30 million, prompting clubs to pursue other targets. Arsenal chose to sign the 21-year-old Belgium star Albert Samuel Conga from Anderlecht. He went straight into Mikel Arteta's midfield for the Gunners' first two top-flight fixtures. Manchester United and Liverpool opted not to sign a new midfielder over the summer as other positions took priority. The Red Devils splashed out 100, over £130 million on Rafael Varane, Jadon Sancho and Cristiano Ronaldo. Liverpool's only summer business was to trigger the £36 million release clause in defender Ibrahimo Konate's contract at RB Leipzig. But the three clubs among several parties he could tr try to sign Yves Bissouma in the winter transfer window, according to the Metro. The 25-year-old has entered the final two years of his contract and the new deal does not appear to be imminent. The Times reported in May that Brighton valued the player at around £30 million. However, the South Coast side will naturally lose negotiating power the sooner Bissouma's contract draws 
to its conclusion. Ibusuma, who was signed from Lille in 2018, is apparently happy at Brighton, but that will not stop other clubs from taking an interest. No formal bids were made in the last window, and Seagull's boss, Graham Potter, grew frustrated by constant questions about the player's future. I've been speaking about Yves Basuma for quite some time, and he's still here, Graham Potter said last month. That's all I can say on this. I can't control the future. I don't know what's going to happen. Essentially, that's the beauty of life and football. Eve is with us. He's happy. He's smiling. He wants to play. He wants to keep improving his career. He's taking steps. He's our player. And while he's still here, we will do our best to help him. Graham Potter's side have started the new Premier League season well and appear to have riddled, ridded themselves of the misfortune that saw them finish a lowly 16th position. Brighton defeated Burnley and Watford in their opening two, flat, top, two top flight matches before they advanced to the third round of the EFL Cup thanks to a win over Cardiff City. A defeat by Everton last weekend, weekend was their first of the campaign. Yves Busuma has played the full 90 minutes in all three of the club's Premier League fixtures, but it looks like Manchester United, Liverpool and Arsenal could revisit Yves Busuma transfer interest in January, and this is another situation where Arsenal should have went for a player of Yves Busuma's calibre in the summer transfer window. We didn't make the move for him, we signed other youngsters such as Lakonga who does look like a shrewd signing, but Yves Busuma is proven in the Premier League. When it comes to Busuma, he's someone that is valued at £30 million by Brighton, but that will only get lesser and lesser as we edge closer to January when it comes to the winter transfer window which will start on January the 1st and also could start making their move for Yves Basuma as they still have interest alongside Liverpool and Manchester United but will also actually make the move or is this just talk because also are in this strategy where they have players only under the age of 23 but Basuma will be 25 when they also try to sign him at, um, in January, so we'll see if he will become an Arsenal player. So we will have to wait and see how Arsenal will use the summer transfer window in the end. Make sure you check out the FA Cup post a special link I've put below in the description and smash that like button to see if you can reach 30 likes. Also subscribe for more daily videos and share the video with your Arsenal friends and family. Click one of the latest videos on the screen and I'll see you there.